There are legends from times long past of an age with Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon. The world was united by an alliance between the races of dragon and man. It's These a backstory are the of the Order of the Flame. A brotherhood of roaming protectors bound together through holy magic uh -huh. so that the soul of each man was joined with that of a single dragon. By their strength and wisdom, the world was led and peace reigned for centuries. It's a pretty good old woman voice there. But as in all times, there were those whose hearts held only hatred and darkness. Oh no, hatred. In secrecy, they gathered to plot and scheme, and in time, the dark union was born. Sworn to overthrow the order, the dark union slowly spread its web throughout the world, working from the shadows to sow dissension and unrest. At last, through bloody decision, cool. control of the Dark Union was seized by the War Mage, Navaros, and his ancient Navros. dragon, Kiros. Together, they betrayed and murdered an assembly of the Order's greatest minds, leading the Dark Union at last into open revolt. The first blow had been struck, and the Dark Wars had begun. It's the same picture as last time. Through oh, black go. sorcery and unholy alliances, the Dark Union had amassed a nightmare army which swarmed forth from the dark places beneath the earth. Magic of unimaginable destruction was unleashed upon trolls the world. or something. Seas with tusks. away to deserts. Wait a minute, trolls with tusks? Never mind. Never mind. In battle after battle, Nothing the strange about that now. were Nowadays, driven back, I guess. and their great cities ground did Warcraft to 1 dust. Come out? Never mind. Never mind. No longer content to share the reins of power, Navaros betrayed the dragon Kiros. In a perversion of the ancient bonding ritual, he, he look devoured happy. the dragon's soul, melding its body into his own. Mm -hmm. Now grown monstrous and nearly invincible, Navaros prepared to lead his armies against the last remnants of the Order of the Flame. With one desperate hope, the surviving mages of the Order invested their power in a single weapon, the Rune Blade. Of course. Surrounded and outnumbered, the Order's only chance lay in this sword, borne by the warrior Heron and the dragon Erok. As the armies clashed, Navros entered a mystic trance, drawing power for one final devastating spell. With the words of destruction on his lips, the betrayer was struck through the heart with a rune blade, and the tremendous forces gathered within him were unleashed upon the field. When at last the smoke cleared, both armies lay decimated. Where Navros had stood, a jagged rip had been torn in the very fabric of space. Uh, a tear in the veil. In the we have to find the stone of tears. Heron lay dead, the rune blade broken in two at his side. On that blackened hill, only the dragon Erok still clung to life. The order was no more, but the Dark Union's dreams of conquest had been shattered. With the fall of Navros, the Dark Jeez, Union's she goes on, and she? His monstrous armies collapsed. Chaos spread across the land. Mankind banded once more into many tribes and kingdoms. It would have helped to have some cool music or something playing. The Order of the Flame were forgotten. Whoa, Rhino, dude. The dragons, thing. weary at last of the world of men, withdrew into timeless slumber, never again to return. The age without kings had ended, and of that brief golden era, <sighs> only the legends remain. Yeah, good. Okay, is it over? Jeez. That was like four minutes of talking. Show, don't tell, guys. Right, I said welcome back, didn't I? Yeah, I did. That's the book. But I mean, okay, Rin was standing and reading that book. Why was there like an old woman's voice? Shouldn't it have been like her voice? If you try to walk back up, that happens. Oh no, so we're trapped here. Whew. Whew, I didn't think I was gonna make that. Really floaty jump. She can't grab onto ledges or anything though, I think. I don't think she can. She's not that Laura Crofty. Laura Crafty. Hee! <laughs> so, that was the backstory. I'm not gonna lie, I was like half asleep during most of that. It was like, something happened, there was an order, 
I just died. Quick load. See, if you die, the only thing that happens is that the game says, "Okay, load the game. Load the game. Just, just do it." So it's not like using save states in in an old emulating game, emulated game or anything, where it would have a game over screen. No, it's just, "Okay, now load." So the game totally wants you to quick save everywhere. What was I saying? Uh. Yeah, okay. There was an order, there were dragons, evil dude fused with a dragon, they fought, the good guys and the bad guys fought, and then the world blew up, and a dragon was left, or a couple of dragons. So, okay. Good. What does this do? Hold on. Am I supposed to... Ah! Ah! Rin! He, stop fusing with the... with the... with the geography. Jeez, girl. Okay. I don't... I'm not... I don't know what... Um, maybe I didn't even have to do that. Maybe there was a Zelda reflex just kicking in. Hey, there's a doorway down there. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. I wonder if it just step on each one of these in order. That's the dumbest puzzle ever. Ever. Ev ev this is almost as dumb as my talking. It's a bit late, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that focused on speaking correctly. All right, so here's the Ark of the Covenant, I guess. Right, I have Heron's crystal. He was the dude with the dragon. I know because I played this level. Oh, that's loud. I played this level before, so I know that. That makes a magical staircase appear. I <laughs> so convoluted this architecture, but I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't love it because it's awesome. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. Like here's this medieval elevator, pressure sensitive, although the slab alone must weigh a couple of tons. So how can it tell when someone steps on it? I don't know. Magic dragons. Did a wizard do it? All right, now we're back outside. And now we have to go to the... Where do we have to go now? We have to awaken Arok! Alright. Sounds good. My map... map is flashing. Does that mean I have a new objective or anything? Honestly, I don't know what that means. I'm gonna, like, poke you. No, nope, I didn't pull it off. Now, these guys are really... I poked your arm off with my club. Suck on that. Uh, more dudes. Yeah. Suck it. Dude, no, two moons. Although that moon over there... Those moons look really close, especially the smaller one. You can, like, see... I'm not sure if you can see on YouTube, but you can, like, see per pixel detail. It looks like you can make out tiny little bumps. It looks like it's like cloud level or something. It's the smallest moon ever. Although I guess this is like fantasy world with dragons, so the moons are probably like the gateway to the god's realm or something convoluted. I don't know. Give me that potion. Elixir. Health elixir. Health drink. Crates? Okay, don't smash crates with your mace. Your mace is not invincible. Is that thunder? Um, the sky's completely clear, you know. I can see every star really brightly, and the moons are like... They look like they're hanging right there in the sky. Is that a cave or something? Ooh, could be. No, it's just a darker... <coughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, well, alright. Ooh, maybe... Oh, I was gonna see if I could sneak. Because apparently the sneaking has a function. Health drink! No, health drink! <coughs> Poked your hand off again. Hi. Okay, let me see if we can pull this off. No, not that. Not that. Yeah, well, okay. I didn't really hit it, but... Okay, those guys die easily. Someone dropped something. 
Health drink. Guess what? Explosive barrels. Spoilers. Stop breaking things with your mace, I just said. Oh, here's a thing. <laughs> I love that she puts it on her back and then it just disappears. A nice backflip there. Yeah. I do like acrobatic characters in video games. They're fun to play as. Although one thing doesn't make sense in this game. If you sneak and jump, you get this... I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Uh, it's just... It's like... It's a jump and then she flips and then she turns around and then she lands a meter ahead. Are you supposed to use that against enemies to get behind them or something? Because it looks a bit slow for that. Well, it is higher than a regular jump somehow. So, boulders and enemies. Let's see if I can get this to work. I have played this bit before when I when I prepared for this let's play and I could not for the life of me hit those guys with this boulder. Nope. Okay. <laughs> See there's some exploding barrels down there so you so you figure that maybe if I hit those you would be oh god look at that thing go. Ah that guy blew up. All right, 2 out of 3. Not terrible, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what never mind. Okay. Hi. Are you trying to taunt me or something? You're like pointing over there. I'm over here, you know. By the way... Smoosh! Right. Did I run out of things to say all of a sudden? Can't be. It's just because I've played this part before. I don't have any particular musings or anything to come with. Chop your arm off with my club again. These guys must must be like, what's the disease when your limbs fall off? You know what I mean. <laughs> it sounded a lot less comical when I said it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah! Stop chopping my legs with your. Thank you. All right, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I almost hit you. You have to admit, I almost hit you there. Drop something? No. Okay. Oh yes. Things up here. Slide. Okay, I can't jump up there. <laughs> Game's really picky with what surfaces you can walk on and can't because I mean this doesn't look untraversable to me. But I guess I have to be a little bit. Oh, arrows. That's what up. That's what. That's what up, dog. Arrows. That's what up. Yeah. Don't mind me. <laughs> Did I mention it's late? I'm not really yeah, sure. What, yeah. Not really good at being coherent at this time of day. Oop. Nope. Still couldn't pull the thrust off. There it is. Man, that hurt. Health drink. I'm gonna keep calling it on that. I kind of want to say life potion or health potion, but that's the river, so I'm not going there. There's a bridge that is broken. Mind that, because I didn't the first time I played. Every river here somehow connects to I I itself. You can see on the map, it's like one big river. And at the end, there's always a waterfall for some reason. And if you touch the rocks at the waterfall, you die. So don't do not do that. Hi. There it is. Oh, it didn't hit. This thing doesn't have enough reach. Ah. It was like stunned there or something. Okay, I'm going to use one of these. I only had one, so that's good. Save! Here's the part with the boulders. <laughs> ah, you bastard. Stab you with my mace. Yeah, how you like that? Shut it. Hand. No one dropped anything here. Oh, I wanted to push the boulder into the thing, but no, it's too close. Those things hurt if they blow up. As you can tell, when the enemy went like, boom, yay. <laughs> I'm sorry about this commentary. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, I'm supposed to go that way. But I happen to know that there's a thing past here. <sighs> and, geez, I'm going to have to cut the video again soon. I know, I know there, I, I can totally have videos up to 2 gigabytes, longer than 15 minutes, thanks to YouTube's 
new magical magic, but I prefer to have things around the 15 minute mark. To be completely honest. For some reason I've never been able to render anything out that is longer than... Uh, there's somewhere around the 17 18 minute mark that my computer just goes, nah. I think it runs out of RAM or something. I guess maybe it depends on what resolution I render at, but... Uh, so I'm not gonna try to put a video up that's longer than 18 minutes, just in case that happens. But I happen to know what's down here, so I can at least do this before the video ends. Fight this thing! Ah, you ugly piece of long-armed thing! How can you hit me when I'm over here? Yeah! Suck it, blue... uh... thing. Alright. Next time! Bye!